Hey, what is going on guys? It's Supreme Guru and I'm back with another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up Twitter. So if you're new to Twitter or you haven't actually set up Twitter just yet, and you want to find out what it's all about, how to use it, then I suggest that you stay tuned to this video. So the first thing that you are going to want to do is download the Twitter application. So whether you're using an Android phone or an iPhone, you go to your Play Store or your App Store. And then, as you can see, I was searching for Twitter there, but we will do it just again. So I'm on the Google Play Store and I'm just going to type in Twitter. I'm going to tap on the Twitter icon which is the blue square with the white bird in the middle. We're going to hit install and we're going to give that a minute or two to install onto our devices. Okay, brilliant. So now that we have that installed on our device, we are going to tap the open button and we are going to set up Twitter. So you will be greeted with this screen. See what's happening in the world right now. You can tap the get started button or you can log in if you do already have an account. But for the tutorial purposes, we are going to hit get started. And we are going to give ourselves a name. So I'm just going to tap in my name. And you do have the option to put in your phone number or email address. I'm going to select email address because I don't want my mobile number linked to Twitter. So I'm just going to tap on this and we're going to hit in the bottom left hand corner here. It says use email address instead. So let's do that and type in our email address. So whenever you're happy enough. Oh, I'm saying we already have an account with that. Maybe let's try a different one. Yeah. Okay, brilliant. So um, once you've got your email address in and you've got the two green ticks beside it, you're good to go on to the next step. So I'm just going to tap on next and in here it's going to ask me a few questions. So customize your experience. Connect with people you know. Let others find your Twitter account by using your email address. I'm not going to select that get more out of Twitter, receive email about your Twitter activity and recommendations. Again, no thank you. I'm not going to be bombarded with Twitter emails. And then lastly, see better ads. So receive personalized ads based off your activity on Twitter. No, I'm not going to select that either. So whenever you're happy enough, you select whatever you want there. You hit the next button. So this is just to accept the terms and conditions. By signing up, you agree to our terms, privacy policy, and cookie use. You also agree that you're over the age of 13. Yes, I do. Let's sign up now. Okay, so you'll need to make a password. So in here, obviously I'm gonna blank this one out, but you create your password that you wanna use for Twitter. So, Once you're happy enough, you get the little tick beside your password, hit the next option. And in here, it will ask you if you want to pick a profile picture. So have a favorite selfie, upload it now. I'm just gonna skip this for now. Brilliant, um, connect your address book to find people you may know on Twitter. No, I'm not gonna sync my content contacts. So I'm just gonna hit not now. And in here, then it's going to ask, what are you interested in? So I will type in Android. I will type in iOS. I will type in iPhone 10s. And then whenever you're happy enough with your um, favorite interests, you need to scroll on down. And if you select one of these options from a, either of these boxes, then it means you can go on to the next step or you can just skip the step, which you can see in the bottom left hand corner. So let's just hit next. 
Okay, so suggestions for you to follow. When you follow someone, you'll see their tweets in your home timeline. So let's just tap on Android. Uh, bah, bah, bah. What else will we pick? Mm, let's just go Wear OS by Google. Again, you can skip this option if you want to, but we'll just hit follow just so I can show you what your screen will actually look like. So this lets Twitter collect store and use your device's pre precise location such as your GPS information in order to improve your experience for example showing you more local content ads and recommendations not now no thank you so now we have created Twitter we are in our main feed of Twitter you do have uh, an option there to set up your profile so you could tap on that and put in a little bit more information if you wanted to so you could still select your prof profile picture so you do have the option of also picking a background picture so you could take a photo or choose existing photo i'm not going to do that i'm not going to set that up you could give your description of what you're interested in. So I would say that I'm a tech YouTuber from Northern Ireland. You could give your location if you wanted, your website and your date of birth. So I'm just gonna go back out of there and go back to our main news feed. So in here, we can see our very top tweet is by Android and it was one day ago. If it does say 1H, then it means 1R ago, or if it says 1S, that is 1 second ago. So along the bottom you, of, of the tweet, you can see that there's a comment option. So if you did want to comment on this, you could tap on that and tweet your reply saying, I don't know, cool tweet. Uh, and then you could hit the reply button. I'm not going to do that and we're just going to delete that as a draft then you do have the option to retweet so a retweet basically means that you are retweeting this same tweet onto your profile so you're sharing it with your friends that are following you on twitter so you could just hit the retweet option or you could retweet with a comment let's try that this is my first tweet sorry retweet uh, and then i could just hit tweet and then if i scroll on up there you can see that i have retweeted that um so then the other options that you do have are the heart button which means you like it or the share button if you wanted to share this uh, or you could add it to your bookmarks or you could share the tweet with WhatsApp or whatever um, other platform you wanted to use. So that is the basics of a tweet. Uh, the other option then that we have along the bottom is your search option. So you can hit this little magnifying glass and this will show you basically popular tweets that are going on around you at the minute. So we do have a bit of a storm in Northern Ireland at the minute and that is happening as we speak. Uh, you could go in and have a look at what people are tweeting about. But what you can also do is search Twitter. So Obviously the iPhone 10s and 10s Max is released on Friday. So I'm just going to check up and see if there's any more news articles on this. So whenever I type in iPhone 10s, you can see that there was 1710 tweets in the last hour. So I could tap on this and have a look at those tweets. So these are the, the top tweets that people are looking at when it comes to the iPhone XS or you go to the latest tweets on the XS so you can see they were only posted seconds or minutes ago or you could follow people that have the iPhone XS in their name if you really wanted to 
or you could look at the photos that are related to the 10s videos that are also related to the 10s news articles that are related to the 10s and lastly periscope periscope is twitter's live vlogging option that you can do straight from the periscope application um so this is pretty cool um you can see that if you were maybe using this for school and you had to look at a certain subject um you, you you could get loads of information through twitter and this is the reason why i absolutely love twitter then the other notification is the bell icon so basically you would see in here uh, maybe people that commented on your profile or give one of your tweets a heart or something along those lines um, and then the last button that you have is your private messages so that's where you will see any of your private messages that people have sent you and only you and that other person could see that particular private message that was shown in there now that is the basics of Twitter that was the quickest tutorial that I could do but if you do want to see a bit more information and for me to go a bit more in depth with this then let me know down in the description below so that I can maybe do a updated video for this but this video was purely just for you guys that are new to Twitter to get the gist of what Twitter is all about um, so if you're new to my video or my channel then welcome my name is Supreme Guru I'm a tech youtuber from Northern Ireland I do tutorials not only on Android phones but also on iPhones if this is something that you are interested in then why not subscribe to my channel where you can get the latest updates for my videos until next time guys you have been listening to Supreme Guru peace